The Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission held a live broadcast today on December 10, 2013, and John Barrett was one of the many who asserted radiation from nuclear power plants was no different than background radiation. All of us are exposed to radiation constantly. Even now, here in this room, we are receiving radiation. It comes from the sun, from rocks in the ground, from our food. We had some radiation for breakfast this morning. If we stepped outside for a walk, we would receive background radiation that exceeds G.E. Hitachi's levels by a factor of 1,600. The nuclear creatures acting as moderators never corrected them, so I guess it's up to humans like me and you to remind the world that background radiation from the sun, background radiation from bananas, background radiation from potatoes and rocks, or water, are all indigenous to Earth, and no one is asking or concerned about those radiations. All life is acclimated to that low-level background radiation over billions of years. The Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission's live broadcast today was supposed to be about man-made isotopes and radiation that will cause 80% of all babies in Fallujah to look like this. Bananas, rocks, and sunlight are natural background radiation that has nothing to do with nuclear radiation. Farmers do not wear these expensive outfits to harvest potatoes or bananas, and the only people that wear these outfits are nuclear workers because nuclear radiation is supposed to be in a sarcophagus for a billion years. Otherwise, children who are born will look like this. John Barrett stabbed all Canadians in the back today, and so did the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission during the live broadcast, because he never reminded or corrected John Barrett's misrepresentations, exaggerations, and delutings of the facts by bringing inappropriate natural, insignificant background radiations like water, sun, rocks, into an equation where E equals MC square. I use these examples to bring forward an important point. Yes, there is radiation involved in this plant's operation, but the quantities are so low that they do not represent a threat to public safety or the environment.